Welcome to SNY.TV Flashback. I'm Ted Burke. In June of 2009, Matt Cerrone and I traveled to Binghamton to check in with the prospects at the Mets AA affiliate. Three of the B-Mets we spoke to at the time, Lucas Duda, Josh Tolley, and Ruben Tejada, now make up one-third of the 2012 Mets opening day lineup. Here's what they had to say back then. I'm with Lucas Duda, first baseman for uh, the Binghamton Mets. So you've uh, been in the league now, I guess, three years. Um, you know, just give me kind of your impression, you know, of, of playing in Binghamton, you know, just being in double-A. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty it's a step up from where I was, um, you know, staying Lucy in a short season. Um, pitchers can locate better and, uh, you know, just a better, all, a better off uh, player out here. You mentioned uh, the adjustment. So, like, obviously when you come to uh, double-A, they're making those those kind of adjustments to you. How do you do that cat and mouse game, and is it is it intimidating? Um, you know what? Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of older guys than me out here, and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to put the bat in the ball and trying to, trying to make the plays in the field. Coming to double-A, uh, what was the hardest thing to get used to, and what are you really working on most, you know, at this level? You know, defensively is, uh, you know, the biggest thing right now. I'm just trying to, you know, kind of hone everything up and, uh, you know, lock it up, lock it all up, my throwing, receiving, blocking, all that stuff. And then, obviously, every day, you know, my hitting, it's, you know, got to constantly keep working on that. And our hitting coach, Bill Massey, is just, you know, he's working every day with me. So that's, you know, something that just come here and just keep working every day and getting better. I'm with the young shortstop Ruben Tejada, Hector Berrios. Ruben, what are the main things you're working on at this level? ¿Qué, qué son las cosas que tú estás trabajando en este nivel? Bueno, estamos trabajando todo lo que refleja fundamento, todo la defensa, el bateo, todo, nada en trabajo en específico. He's just working on all the fundamentals in the specific areas in the hitting and the defense and just all the areas that he needs to improve on. Have you played some outfield, I thought I saw? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> As you can see, I might uh, take the laugh. Is that? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I've been trying to work out there and uh, getting some extra work and stuff. But uh, you know, it's going slow. But you know, I'm going to keep on keeping on out there. So. I thought I saw on uh, on your stats that you played a little first base in the past. Is, you, is that something you're still working on? Yeah, I'm still working on it. You know, it's always good to have uh, an extra position. You know, whenever uh, you know something ever happens and they need a, somebody to fill in, it's always good to have that uh, you know in your background and. Um, in the previous years, I had played first base, and now I just started catching. So it's, uh, you know, it's always something good to have in your back pocket. What's the hardest part about catching? Um, you know, it's it's really the mental part, getting the uh, pitchers to really trust what you're doing back there, and you know, just 100 percent faith in whatever you do. And that's, you know, once you get that established, you know, everything kind of falls in place and makes it a lot easier. Growing up, who's your favorite team? You know, what kind of players did you, you know, enjoy watching? Who did you always kind of envision yourself being like? Right. Um, you know, I, I grew up in California, so I'm a I'm an Angels guy, but uh, um, one of my favorite players is uh, Mark Teixeira. Um, you know, I'm first base, you know, good hitter, great hitter. Um, so I kind of envision myself like that, emulate him. Growing up in Panama, who are the who are your favorite players? ¿Cuáles son tus mejores jugadores que tú sabes que eran las las que tú mirabas para hacer un ejemplo para ti? Bueno, de pequeño me ha gustado la manera de juego de de Regir. La manera en que se para al bateo Carlos Lee, esos son, han sido mi, mi reflejo desde pequeño en el béisbol de la Grande Liga. Uh, Derek Jeter and Carlos Lee, you know, those are the ones that uh, he really exemplifies and, and really idolizes in the big league level. Growing up, who did you kind of, you know, admire, who did you idolize, who did you want to kind of emulate with your swing like that? Oh, well, it's kind of weird. Um, my, the swing actually started last year was when I was in high A. Um, Tim Tuffle, our manager, I was hitting 230 and I was hitting standing straight up and all my hits were coming on uh, two strikes and that's my two strike swing, you know, the spread out choked up approach and all of a sudden he told me, he said, just stay with that and do it and, you know, no strikes, one strike, whatever. So I did and that's kind of, uh, you know, where I start picking up with it and then I just ran with it. Coming into a system so young, uh, what are the big adjustments you've made, you know, from home life to joining the Mets? Que tú eres tan joven y has venido a este sistema. Sabes que son los ajustes que tú has tenido que hacer de venir de Panamá aquí a los Estados Unidos y a jugar este deporte. Bueno, el primer ajuste que hemos tenido ha sido alejar un poco a la familia. Este ha sido un ajuste que muy grande que hemos tenido que hacer porque de pequeño con nuestra familia, pero esto es un trabajo ya un un compromiso que tenemos que hacer y tenemos que echar por delante porque más que un trabajo es un sueño que tenemos desde pequeño. 
He says that, you know, the most the difficult adjustment he's had to make is being away from his family, you know, but he understands that this is a job and he has to take care of business here. And, you know, he's just adjusting to that. You've been uh, with the organization for, I think, five years? Yes. And uh, came up when you were 18. You know, what kind of adjustment is that? I mean, I know what I was doing when I was 18. I mean, is that, how is that kind of, uh, you know, maturing through the minor leagues? I. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's fast. You ha I had to learn a lot of things a lot really fast. You know, it was uh, you know I grew up in a small town, so you know everything. M Mom and dad did everything for me. So you know, 18 years old, living down in uh, Florida for my first year was learn how to do laundry, cook, get food on your own. So it was it was a, you know it was a little bit bit of adjustment for me. And uh, how did the coaches look out for you and, and help you with a lot of stuff? Yeah, they did. And, you know, even a lot of the older guys that I had on the team definitely looked out for me and, uh, you know, always kind of led me by hand and told me, you know, what to do and what not to do type of thing.